name is Megan O'Rourke. I am a new professor at Virginia Tech of Sustainable Food Production Systems and I'm in the Horticulture Department. I think it's really important to bring students out of the classroom and into the field so that they get to apply what they, they're learning. Um, and a big facility I think is a great contrast to see all the different types of production methods. So in this class we're going to be talking about organic agriculture, what does it mean, sustainable agriculture, and so this facility I think is really interesting because it has a large-scale production or operation that has both conventional and organic. And then we'll also be going to see some smaller producers. So the kids will really have a chance to think about what it means to be organic, what it means to have sustainable agriculture. Coming from a developing country, Guyana, South America, we have tried to do some, some amount of greenhouse production on smaller scales but this has definitely taken things to another level and I think all of the technology that's involved here really augurs well for, for future greenhouse production particularly for smaller countries this is something they can all learn from and if, if we can have some smaller nations getting up to this level not in terms of scale but technology wise with all the technology out here I think this, this puts us right on track to, to really up our production, increase production nicely. Today at Red Sun, we saw how the sustainability practices were used in a very large scale way and how it's all sustainable but it, in an industrial sense versus whereas here at the community garden it's sustainable within their own little plots based on what is needed for the plot and the grower and it's just very different to see what is d driven by consumer demands versus personal needs. It's really cool to see how they bring in so many different types of plants and they grow them all to maximize both the space and the soil yield and it's all like I know there's certain crops that can go with other certain crops and they're beneficial and have a symbiotic relationship so I would love to be able to bring that in when I eventually get more space. <laughs>